Hello and welcome to Excel-Templates.com. This is Steve True. Please visit our blog at Excel-Templates.com so that you're sure to get the latest Excel tip and trick. Okay, uh, so today I want to show you an interesting trick. It has to do with making long legend lines when you're making a clustered column chart. So let's take a look at this 2D clustered column chart I have over here on the right. Uh, you can see this is based off of the data, uh, just some, some basic simple data that I've created this chart with. This is the standard Excel way uh, when you make a 2D clustered column chart. Uh, what it does is it's going to make the legend colors equal to the bars over here, or the columns over here. Uh, however, look at this other version over on the right. We've actually got really long colors next to Mark, John, and Tom. This is not an option in Excel for a 2D clustered column chart. Look, but let me show you how we make this uh, so that you can replicate this on your own. So if you'd like these longer legend bars uh, instead of these smaller legend bars, see the colors just about, oh, I don't know, about a third of the size of what we've got over here. Let me go ahead and show you how we do that. So, okay, so I've got my data series set up. Uh, but you'll notice I have actually, this is the original data series here for Mark, John, and Tom, the salespeople for January, February, and March, but I've added an additional line series here. And uh, what this is going to do is this is going to help us make that longer uh, legend bar. Now, I've put our data points here in between some of the data so that it's just easier to select. Uh, we'll show you how to take care of this here in the future. So what we do is we want to highlight our data. This time we want to include this extra line series that we've created. Uh, and let's chart that. So highlight that. Go to your insert ribbon. We're going to do a column chart, and we're going to do a 2D clustered column chart. All right, let me move that up above. Now, uh, you'll notice that my... Uh, column chart looks different. We had January, February, and March on the bottom here. We need to reverse uh, and switch these rows and columns. There's a blog post uh, on Excel dashboard, templates.com, explaining why Excel is doing what it's doing right here. So go ahead and uh, search for that one. But I'm going to select my chart, and I'm going to go up to my design ribbon, and I'm going to hit the button in the data group called Switch Row and Column. Now our chart looks a lot more uh, like what we had before. You can see our legend has these small uh, legend bars here with the color. We're going to make those really long legend bars. So what I want to do is I want to select the last series, this line series in purple that you see here, and I uh, want to change this chart type. So we're going to go up to our design ribbon. We're going to go over to the type. Um, we could also right click, uh, or I'm sorry, change chart type, but we could also right click on this column. And you see there's change series chart type is one of the choices in the pop-up box. And I want to change this series to a line series. And I like to pick the line without markers so I don't have to deal with as many options. Click on OK. So there you can see we've got this purple line right there. Um, uh, if it's hard to select, you can change the values and you can uh, select it a little easier that way. But uh, what I want to do is I want to format this line and get rid of it. And the way I'm going to get rid of it is by making it a white background. It's going to be the easiest way. That will actually, uh, oh, look at this. Our legend has already grown because we've added this line series. Look how wide these legend bars are. But if I come in here and I delete this line series, notice my legend goes back to small. So I'm going to undo that because we don't want these to go small. We want to keep these longer legend color bars. So uh, same thing if I delete this purple series in here, uh, it will get rid of it out of the legend and it's not what we want. So uh, let's see. So we just need to select that series. There we go. So um, I want to either right click on this line or I hit control one to bring up my format data series dialog box. I want to go to the line color. I want to choose a solid line and I want to choose a white colors white background number one in the top left and then click on close uh, let's take a look at this um, you can see that bar is still or that line is still there in our data uh, we'll get rid of that here in a second but we have now essentially hidden this line series from our legend area but we've kept these longer legend bars so now the only other thing we have to do is get rid of this line and we're going to end this uh, uh, value over here in the legend area, but what we want to do is we just want to go back to our data now and let's uh, delete all of the data points uh, in the line series. Notice the line is now gone. 
to get rid of the line series within the legend. We do not want to delete it directly from the legend. We just want to delete the text out in cell E1. And let's go back and look at the chart. Uh, the line is gone. The line series in our legend area is gone. It's still technically there. It's just uh, not showing any information. It's white. You'll notice uh, the line is white and it's at zero, so it's not going to show up in our data anywhere. But it's going to make these longer, uh, more readable, I think nicer, legend bars when you combine a blank line series with a background color of white uh, to this uh, chart. Uh, it's one way you can do that. Well, hopefully that helped, and uh, please visit our blog at excel-dashboardtemplates.com where you can learn this and a lot of other Excel charting techniques and other tips and tricks in Excel. Also, don't forget to sign up for our YouTube channel. Thank you, and have a great day.